Hello guys. So I got a question on my random Japanese lesson 41, I think, about uh, don't use this and math. So the question was when do, when to start using polite form, form of form when speaking. So here's uh, where yeah okay. When we use polite form, we 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 call it keigo. Sorry, I didn't write this down. Keigo. Keigo. Literally means um, respectful or respectable language. So, even in keigo, we have three kinds: tenego. Kenjogo, Sonkego. Right, so I've written down all kinds of, all the three kinds of uh, Kego from the top. Teinego, yeah. Teineigo, Kenjogo, Kenjogo, Sonkego, Sonkego. So, Teinego is simply a form of speech, form of polite speech using usually death or math. Kenjogo is a form of speech where you in as as a as sense you uh, go below or go down the person you're talking to. How, how, however age, however old they are. So and uh, yeah, in that case, we mean you going down or you, uh, the other person going up. Anyway, there's gap as as image sense. And lastly, sonkeigo. Sonkeigo is a form of speech where you also, as a sense, respect the person you're talking to. So here's examples of tenego, kenjogo, sonkego. The top one, kirei desu. This is just an example. One, not only this sentence, you know, not only this sentence. But kirei desu is, is an example of tenego simply saying something is beautiful in a polite way. You, with death, you can say without death, kirei. Just mean whatever. This is. That is, it is, kire, beautiful, cute, pretty. So, to make this sentence, uh, not actually a sentence, but to make this adjective or sentence could be polite, you put, put death. Okay, so this example, this sentence, blah blah blah, sasete itadaku, is an example of kenjo go. Sasete itadaku, for example, okay. When you do something in, am I right? In favor of somebody, somebody's sake, you use this. Sasete, sasete itadaku. Of course, it depends. So this can change. But just to give an example, uh, idea. Sasete itadaku. For example, if you prepare drink, tea, coffee for somebody. For his or her sake, like if if he's your boss or something like that, you are sasete itadaiteru, sasete itadaku, in your form, form of your position, so sasete itadaku. Not just suru, of course it is actually an act of suru, but respecting him or seeing him as and the upper status, you are sasete itadaku. Yeah. So, kakasete. Yeah. Anyway, just, it's complicated, so just, so you get the idea. So, uh, okay. And these three example sentences are examples of uh, sonkeigo, goran ni naru, meshi agaru. Yeah, this kanji. Me, shi. Agaru, meshi agaru. And this is uh, 
あ、ブラブラブラしていただく。Okay. ご覧になる is a けんあ尊敬語 form of see, watch, look, but used for a person, people that you are talking to. 尊敬 So if, for example, you are a clerk at some store and there comes a customer. Okay, so your shop is jewelry shop, okay? And he is looking into the showcase. And you say, ご覧になりますかご覧になりますか Not simply, 見る Just really rude.、Uh, not polite. So, ご覧になりますか Is 尊敬 form of Do you w a n t to see? Would you like to see? Yeah. 召し上がる、uh, Damn it. 召し上がる is えっと、fly form, 尊敬 form of eat. So, 召し上がる。If this turns to into a question form, asking form, 召し上がる召し上がりますか召し上がりますか That means, would you like to eat it? Would you like to eat? Or would you like to have meal? Something like that. 召し上がる。Yeah, don't, these words don't use to yourself. Because this is respecting others, not you. Use, k e i g o used for, used to yourself is, uh, e n s h o g o like, s a s e i t a k Okay, finally, blah blah blah, s t e i t a r a k u is when somebody does something, not you. If that movement, action, is something that you do, it's させていただく。But if somebody does it, it's していただく。The last one, していただく。Okay, so,、um, yeah, するしていただく is simply do, to do, or doing in English. So, when, that, when somebody does something, It's s t a y t h e r e again. But yeah, all these are complicated. So let's move back to、uh, when to use polite form, when to use、uh, keigo. So yeah, keigo is a, is a useful word. Y- you have to remember this concept、uh, or this, at least this word, keigo. Keigo can mean in either of these. So keigo, when we use keigo, is To usually older people, people you first met, meet, or upper class people, for example, in business, your boss, president, whoever, whoever is upper status class than you. Or formal occasion, for example, giving speech, talking, talking in front of other people. Writing newspaper, writing letter to somebody, yeah, like, like job interview.、Uh, okay. Or, or business occasion. So here's another idea that I'd like you to know when we talk about the upper class people or business occasion. So, if you're working part time job, official、uh, employee, whatever, anyone who is upper class than you is called Joshi. 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 Yeah, as I wrote. Yeah. That could be your boss. What's called boss? I actually, I, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what boss means in English. Both can be president or only one class higher than you, or two classes, three classes, or anyone who is higher classes than you. Yeah, Joshi. Could be upper class, em- upper class employee. Yeah, if you're a part time job, any official employee, official, you say, official employee. Will be a Joshi, no matter how old they are. Like, if 
I am 23 and work in partnership and uh, this official employee who's Asia is 22 let's say but she or he still will be my joshi yeah because part-time job usually is the lowest class of business work and here's another time senpai senpai if you're into anime manga I, I believe you have at least once heard or seen this term well the opposite word is kohai kohai so what's senpai is usually well, used in school but not only in school so if uh, supposing you are first class student so those who are second and third or whatever there are more will be your senpai but if you're second class student second class student, student uh, first class first year student will be your kohai however third or fourth fifth sixth whatever will be your senpai so you you have senpai and kohai right but not only in school so working you are working part time job i'm working part time job and we are working at the same branch same section of let's say department store but you entered this department one year before and i entered this department right uh, some month ago one one month ago so even we even if we are, we are age is same our age is same 20 20 you are my senpai because you have more experience and you have uh, yeah you have more experience in that department store or simply because you have entered one year before than me so you are that case you are senpai also not about only part-time job even official uh, employee they have senpai kohai yeah just so we use keigo to joshi or senpai or people you meet for for the first time formal occasions such as giving speech in front of other people writing letter writing even writing blog if you want to be polite because it's for everybody so you'd you might want to be polite when writing somebody who is anonymous like I when I speak in Japanese even YouTube videos I tend to speak uh, with Keigo because it's for Japanese people that I don't know but I sometimes speak uh, with not Keigo not with Keigo or yeah and business occasions so you might speak in Keigo to even uh, younger people if he or she is senpai of you or joshi of you だから even we are close friends no close friends but even if you and I are close friends but we are in a formal situation like business situation if we are working at the same company like a meeting we would speak in Keigo Tanaka-san do you think? I think yeah something like that and just to give any I just wondering what I, I'm not really sure what both can mean in English we just give you a rough image, rough idea of organization or company. Here's the top person, Shacho, which we call Shacho, President, CEO, a top person in an organization company. And after that, after it comes some other uh, status, Senmu, something like that. But just roughly, just roughly, he's Bucho. Bucho, Kacho, 
and you as a part-time job part-time worker but uh, above you have between Kacho and uh, you there's official employees so these will be your Joshi and in a sense senpai too but you can have senpai at the same level depending on their age not age depending on their experience of work here so Shacho top after that branches could be advertisement branch product development branch technological issues branch IT branch whatever branch and up below those branch there are ka yeah those branches called bu bu and ka and this maybe whatever if this is a department store one might be Ego, Ego, and Ego, 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 Sales, yeah, Sales. And Kogoku might be advertisement branch. Food might be supermarket branch, like, yeah. But after that, if under advertisement branch, could be compute web advertisement, newspaper advertisement, street ad advertisement, magazine advertisement, could be whatever. And after that you have you are there, you. Yeah. Yeah, so what what's boss in this chart? Is anyone can anyone can be can anyone be boss? He's my boss, he's my boss, he's my boss. And these are not my boss. So did I, yeah, sorry I, I made this video long, but I hope you learned something interesting, something useful, something that you didn't know before. Like Keigo, and Tenego, Kenjogo, Sonkeigo, Josh, Senpai too. So I think Senpai, Senpai, or Kohai, uh, the idea of senpai and gohai is could, could be unique to Japanese culture. Yeah, of course there might be something similar to this in other countries. Yep. So if you have a question, yeah, please ask me. This time I answered with video because I thought it was it would be more easier to understand. Yeah, it would be easier to understand. So. Yeah, that's it. I personally think the idea or culture of Keigo is really good. Or sometimes it's really complicated and I don't like it. I'd, I'd rather like English because it, there's no Keigo form platform like in Japanese. But, yeah, it differs. I like English, I like Japanese. Yep, anyway, so thanks for watching. Bye. Just, just to add, what I said is not always true. For example, you don't always talk politely, even to all the people, or even in business situation. So there are people who speak not with Keigo, with older people, or with even Senpai, or with even Joshi. So I know a part -time, another part-time worker at my where I, where I work. <laughs> Who speak? Who speaks? Not with Keigo, with her Joshi, with her senpai, or with them, with or even with her customers. So, but as I said before, I'm not sure if you watched it, watched that video, but speaking in Keigo gives you some sort of barrier wall between you and uh, the person you're talking to. So, if even if you have even if you meet someone for the first time, but if you right away becomes good friends going well along, you might feel want to speak not with Kego, but 
uh, informally. We call it tameguchi. Tameguchi, but it's not a formal word, so I don't like to use it. But yeah, we, we generally call it tameguchi. 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 And some people say, some people call people of the same age as you, tame. With a kuchi. Tame. So I'm 19 and I'm 20 and you are 19, 20. And when I know it, oh, we are tame. Yeah, we, can, we can speak tame. Tameguchi. We can speak in tameguchi to each other. So, so just remember when to just know that there are situations where you should use keigo or where you can use tameguchi even to those who you should be who you should speak in keigo. Yes, that is the idea. Yeah, bye. Ah, uh, well, so who can be your senpai is can is also, I think, interesting. So, in school or in business, occasion, whatever. Okay, if in business, technically, if somebody enters your company that you go to, to first one day, one day before, he's technically he's your senpai. But that case depends. But in school situation, in high school. Uh, middle school, for example, we have three years, three classes, first, second, third, we call it. So, but school, okay, how these, these years system is divided is from April to March. So, anyone whose birthday is April, I think from after April 6th or 5th, is this year, until the next year's March, yeah, its division is kind of uh, not clear to me. It's not April 1st, I think. But anyway, supposing it's April 1st to March 31st, it's one year. So if your birth is Ma uh, May, you are here. But if somebody's uh, birthday is Okay, your birthday is 1990 May, but some if somebody's birthday is 1990 March, he or she is your kohai, because anyone whose birthday is from 1990 April to 191991 March is your year in your year. Yeah, so even one month difference of birthday you can have kohai or senpai but so if he or she I okay supposing I was born on April 1st 1990 but if somebody no I was born in huh what this is complicated if I was born I was born on April 1st of 1990 and if somebody was born on April God, let me think Hello, so I made it clear with my mom So, people whose birthday is for example, 1990 from 1990 April 2nd to 1991 April, April 1st will be in the same year let's say first year of high school, junior high school, whatever but if so if your birthday is between this range you'll be the same you'll be first, second but okay okay let's say here's you oh, yeah here's you and here's me and your birthday is April 2nd so as soon as the school that school year starts you are one year older than me and after the very end of that school year I will be 
one, one older. So there will suddenly be one year difference between me and you. But even this case, we are not Kohai and Senpai, we are in the same class because we are in the same year, first, second, third, whatever. However, if your birthday is April 2nd, but my birthday, no, if, even if your birthday is April 1st, and my birthday is, uh, even if, if your birthday is 1991, April 1st, but my birthday is 1991, April 2nd, I will be your Kohai, because I will be put in under year. You know what I mean? So if I were born one just one day before, I could be senpai or same class as you. That's really interesting. So, but uh, even that, those in those cases, you might have to speak in keigo to those people, even if there's there might be only one day difference. Yeah, in one month. Yeah, to me, one month is not a big difference, but. Even if somebody is sent by me by one month, even one week, one day, I might have to speak in Kego. Yeah, because he's, or he, she, or he is my senpai. Yeah, it's really kind of strange situation. Yeah, bye.